Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my dining room. Anyway, I'm here with you again today because I bought myself an air purifier. We just uh, found out that our little one, our two years old, is actually allergic to some uh, nasty stuff. And uh, obviously in order to tackle all that and get more fresh air indoors, we just bought this guy here. Which, according to some... Uh, own research it appears to be one of the best air purifiers on the market is uh, is the the one made by um, show me show me me 3h 3h air purifier quite a big boy let's have a quick look on the box that one has um, an air OLED actually this is amazing an OLED touch display right there it's not I don't think it's very big but it's it's a, it's a touch screen one so uh, enough that you can you can change some some settings um, it can uh, work up on rooms up to 380 cubic meters what else um, square feet area this actually is in um, square meters is for 126 square meters I'm gonna try to do this. <laughs> Look at that. You can't pick up much, but that's I'm gonna tell you all about it. All right. Uh, it's good against uh, dust mites, pet dander, pollen, smoke, mold spores, and uh, all sorts of germs. They say on the box. It has a primary filter and a HEPA filter and the high quality activated carbon filter imagine that activated by wind probably <laughs> by anything could be activated the probably what i like the most about this filter other than obviously because it filters the air the next thing i like about it is that is Alexa and Google Assistant enabled, which makes it a smart filter. You see, I like that. Arrived sealed. I've actually checked it because the box looks a bit um, dodgy. Not that dodgy, but anyway. Oh, and look at this. Um, that label on the box down at the bottom is quite yellow ish. I'm wondering is it yellow because that's what the color is or is just because it's very old and it's hot in a warehouse some, some somewhere but i don't really believe it because it's it kind of looks legit anyway now the time to open the box because that's why we're here i'm gonna be quick because i know you're very busy guys watching some real stuff on tiktok so <laughs> I'm just pulling your legs, guys. Anyway, ta -da! Let's see, how do we do this? One there. And there. And there. Why is it so hard to open this kind of stuff? This is only a small seal. Okay, I think I've done it. I've only have one camera set up so I'm not gonna you know show you anything from above but it's just you and I guys it's just right I'm gonna be able to I'm gonna try actually to show you as much as I can all right and thank you for that because one day maybe I'll have the facility to actually do it with two three cameras and things like that you know I'm gonna have a script and probably I'm gonna have you know uh, anything else right instruction manual or me open for user manual which is nice because you have a physical one although on the box right there not there but there's a sticker somewhere asking me that one to go online and get the user manual so i didn't have to do that unless i'm gonna lose it lose the physical one so now 
There's um, two holes. If, obviously, if you. No. Oh, not easy. How do you do that? So that's probably not a normal lead. Oh, so not very smart to be honest, because you can't you can't hook it. You can't really hook it. It's just there's just holes, but it's and obviously you can't do that. Maybe if it was like a double hole, like the bowling ball holes that you can actually grab it, you hook it, but anyway, I got it up right now. Just like that, and I'm just going to. Okay, that is kind of a lead, but it's quite the. You see that? Now I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do it like this, upside down, and why not? Because we can. T it's not a fridge freezer or anything. Right. Nothing left inside the box. Just the the bottom protector. Here it is. This was quite actually, uh, you would think it was glue, but you hear that? Do you want me to? Are you sure? Yeah? <laughs> I'm rubbish. Anyway, there. Okay. We can pull this one down nicely. Right at the the top is the uh, it's a very big air outlet. I think this is the outlet, and this is the intake. According to what they show on the box, it's a nice grill on the on the top over there. Right at the bottom. There's a tiny, tiny button. You can hardly see it unless you see that sign over there that shows a tiny um, light. So that probably sets up the uh, the brightness of the um, the front uh, panel there. We should have something over there. Laser particle sensor. Right. Here you go. Now you know. There's a laser particle sensor. Maybe that one there, the tiny dot, you don't see it. I'm gonna show you this. I'm sure you see it now. It's a tiny, tiny hole. That's probably the uh, the sensor for that laser or the laser beam or whatever that is. And uh, it's not very heavy, to be honest. That's how you open it. Now that, it does look like a small fridge freezer, and uh, you've you've got the instructions for replacing the um, the filter, as you can see, if you can see, but I'm sure you can. You don't have to. Uh... Right. It appears to be very good quality, well built. Wow. Oh. Lucky me, lucky I wanted to actually show you this because we found the main cable inside. This one I'll show you is nice, well built, good quality, feels good quality here, but we need a new K adapter. Look at this one. And if you if you're in America, you might need a new S adapter. Anyway, it's, uh, it says me over there. Me, show me, it's nice. Filter is big, it's nice, I like it. There's a, a pull tab, if you... Oh, I need to show you this. It's quite simple, to be honest. Which 
I kind of like this kind of, you know, um, the way some stuff are actually engineered. Because obviously, the simple, the better. Right? And the filter looks proper, looks amazing inside, to be honest. Looks proper, looks, looks like it, there's, there's like a honeycomb um, pattern inside, which makes it look posh, expensive. You know, it's like a like a rocket filter. Now, let me see if I can put this back properly, because anyone can put that back. And uh, right, I need to make sure the pull tab. Okay, so the bottom, as I've actually um, believed to be, bottom has a spring. There's a plate on a spring, so you can press on it, which obviously helps to uh, keep the filter in place. You can have to replace your filter every 6 to 12 months. Bottom first. Okay guys. I'm going to plug this one in. Guess what? I've got an adapter. It's a UK um, adapter. To this is actually this one came with my uh, my Panasonic shaver, electric shaver. So uh, it's a nice one, nice little guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna plug it like that. And then, kind of short, but I'm just going to move it on this other side. It's plugged in. Whoa! Don't do it! <laughs> Quite that, that bit was actually loud. Right. Don't see nothing on the screen at the moment. I'm just going to uh, press the button. I can see me 100% filter remaining 100%. So you can see the capacity, the remaining capacity of the filter, which is 100% at the moment. You can see the time, which is uh, 9 minutes to 9 p.m. That one shows this one is not what it say like but anyway i look forward to connect this one to my google assistant to my google home app and uh that's gonna uh, i'm probably i'm probably going to come back to uh with a different video for that one this was just the unboxing obviously like i said i don't want to keep it too long i'm just i'm just gonna try to just uh, uh fiddle a little bit with the uh, options on the on the front panel here and uh, let's see what this does. I don't, I don't do much. It's really quiet. Can you hear it? Okay, we've actually increased the speed. Smells like new filter. Okay. It's probably good in the summer. Ventilation not too bad. Third speed. I can hear it now. I could have heard it from the, uh, the second... Uh, Speed. It's not that loud, to be honest. If that's the maximum, right? It's not bad. Mm. If you just place it down in one corner somewhere, 
Let's see if there's um. Oh. That's the maximum. It showed up with a heart. So probably if I press over there. A it says A. I don't know what that the A is, but I will probably. That's the night. Um, My also oh, okay. Three heart. Can you press on the heart? The heart is probably when you have a heart condition or something like that. The heart. Anyway, it's very easy to operate. I'm really happy we've actually bought this one um, because we need it and because it appears to be very good simple but good I mean I don't know what what anyone should expect from an air purifier other than purify other than you know to purify the um, air around you but this one um, is one of the smart ones I'll try that um, in the days to come I'll try the uh, the smart uh, functions of it see how good is actually is is uh, working with Google assistant and uh, see what options you have there in the app but anyway thank you very much indeed guys thank you very much for being with me today and uh, stay safe cheers guys